Meet the billionaires buying up Hawaii. Dozens of ultra-rich investors including Larry Ellison and Oprah Winfrey have bought up a significant chunk of the Aloha State. Here is a breakdown of who owns what. A year ago, Oprah Winfrey scooped up 850 acres on Maui for $6.4 million, adding to the 1,280 acres she already owned on the island. Set inland, her, mostly contiguous, property extends over green hills into a forest preserve on the slopes of the Haleakala volcano. Cattle graze on the mostly undeveloped land she's working to conserve. It looks like Scotland, but with really good weather, says her fitness trainer turned property manager, Bob Green. Winfrey, who resides in Hawaii about four months a year, first bought a ranch on Maui two decades ago. Her land was left unscathed when wildfires ripped through Maui last August, incinerating 6,625 acres and killing 100 people. In the aftermath, she brought pillows, diapers, and other supplies to survivors, and, with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, set up the People's Fund of Maui, with Winfrey personally contributing $25 million to the effort. But a pandemic-era luxury real estate boom, which pushed housing prices ever higher, as heightened tensions between Hawaiians and wealthy out-of-state landowners. Even leading to a controversial bill introduced last week that would ban non-Americans from purchasing land in Hawaii. Despite trying to help after the fires, Winfrey was criticized for filming her relief efforts and asking the public for money, a response that she claimed was taking attention away from Maui. Others questioned what happened to the $100 million Jeff Bezos, who has a 14-acre estate 12 miles south of the fires, and his partner, Lauren Sanchez, promised an aid. A spokesperson told Forbes that Bezos has given $15.5 million to nine charities so far. America's richest have been buying in Hawaii for years, but no one knew exactly how extensive their holdings were. To figure it out, Forbes spent months digging through thousands of property records on Hawaii's six biggest islands. The results were astonishing. Just 37 billionaires own at least 218,000 acres. That's 5.3% of the state's total land and 11.1% of all non-government-owned land, though it is likely even higher given the lengths to which these billionaires go to obscure their ownership. Expressed a different way, those 37 people, equal to just 0.003% of Hawaii's total population of 1.4 million, own 11% of its private land. Some billionaires have long ties to the community. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff, who first visited Hawaii in 1974, has given $100 million to various causes across the state over two decades and in December, along with his wife, Lynn donated 282 acres for affordable housing. I feel a strong spiritual connection to Hawaii, says Benioff, who has tried to work the Hawaiian concept of ohana, or family, into Salesforce's culture. I have a deep understanding of the people and spirit of Hawaii, what we call the aloha spirit. Others, like Meta co-founder Mark Zuckerberg, who is reportedly building a bunker on his partially walled-off compound, seem more concerned with their privacy. Real estate broker Rob Kildow, who says he rides bikes with Citadel billionaire Ken Griffin, remembers one billionaire who lives at the private Hualalai Resort telling him, half the people here don't know who I am, and the other half don't give a crap. Wayne Tanaka, director of the environmental nonprofit Sierra Club of Hawaii, tries to be hopeful. If high net worth residents can overcome their desire for isolation and start talking with the people around them, that might open doors and windows to really contributing back to this place. In the meantime, though, he admits, more and more of Hawaii is becoming a playground for the rich.